I've started a broadcast. You've started a replay. And I started flipping the camera. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, including Heather Karwacki. And oh my God, I do not have readers with me. I cannot believe I did not plan this better. Hold on one second. Ah, I got to get them. There's no way. No way, I tell you. Virginia Beach Girl 2 has joined. Thank you for doing so. It makes the thing a whole lot more interesting when there's actually people here. Self Networks. All right. This sounds new. And Luz, Luz 81. I don't know. I'm trying to keep up, trying to learn new people. Luz Shell, plant-based advocate of living foods. All right. Awesome. Thank you for being here. Heather, thank you for sharing already. That was awfully nice of you. So today I'm being lit by this new light that Lynn got for herself, actually. It's called the chat light. Hello, hello, hello. And um, it's right in my face. But um, what do you think? If I didn't have it on, it would look like this. Ooh. Jilly Sue. All right. Awesome. And Brooks by Renee Galvin. Books by, not, not Brooks. She does not write Brooks. She writes books or something. Okay, Jilly Sue in the house. One of the early uh, early ones, right? We, we've been riding the um, each other's periscope train for a while. That's I don't think that I shouldn't have started that sentence. Is basically what I'm what I'm getting at. That was a that was an ill advised sentence. And uh, so look, hey, look, everyone, thank you. success all day. All right, awesome. So it's evening. What time is it? It's seven p.m. Pacific time, and Today, up until about 1 o'clock this afternoon, I thought it was Saturday. I woke up telling Cody, Cody, we're at Saturday. We're going to party. We're going to have fun. We're going to do this. What do you want to do? And it was pouring down rain, actually, in Marina Del Rey. Very unusual thing. And, uh, and then my, actually, my payroll person called. And I said, you're working on a Saturday? Silence. What day is today? Well, it's Friday. Oh, I'm... I see. I'm self-employed, you see. That's how that works. Loretha Cobb, 86, has joined. Uh, you just missed 85 and 84. They were here. Yeah, this was probably, this is probably, Jelly Sue, this is probably the worst case. I mean, like, almost, you know, half the day gone. Anyway, y'all, thanks for the hearts. Um, so, look, you know, I've been, I've been threatening to do this Bob Doyle show thing over on Blab for quite some time. Some of you know that. Some of you may not have a clue what I'm talking about or even who I am, but the Big Dreamer is joined, and I'm going to view the Big Dreamer's profile. It's Greg Walker, success coach, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, GregInspires.com. As soon as you're done here, you should rush over there and buy everything he has to sell. <laughs> Maybe he's not selling anything. I don't know. But look, how serendipitous and serendipitous. You spoke with Lynn. What you, when did you speak with Lynn? Lynn, this time, ladies. Mary Lee, awesome. Um, Lynn is in Singapore right now, knocking them dead, doing MC stuff, and just being amazing. Um, oh, you saw her at the summit, which I did not attend. So yeah, Lynn has been jet-setting all over the place for uh, all of 2016, which is really one of the reasons we haven't done a fun with Bob and Lynn show in quite a while. Okay, now look. That's not what this subject line was about at all. Where's the ukulele? Is I'm sure what you mean. Uh, they are all in another room right now because right now I'm trying to talk up tomorrow's show. Um, I have been hovering and threatening to do this thing forever. I was going to do it last week, and my whole the whole thing about it was I was going to have a guest, a friend of mine, who he and I used to do an internet radio show forever ago. And then he couldn't find his webcam, so we didn't do it. And then I've just been dilly-dallying and delaying and doing test after test of technical stuff. And, you know, because I've been like, no, no, it has to be perfect. I have to get, I mean, that's the, that's the demon I'm battling of, like, it has to be perfect. And the whole thing about the show is that it's completely not, hardly planned at all, completely off the cuff. And there are no rules. It doesn't have to be any certain way. And I know that more than anybody because, hey, it's my show. So what the, what the anxiety is, I have no idea. But... I drew the line in the sand today, and I, hey, Rachel, nice to have you here, drew the line in the sand today and just, well, I'm going to wing it. I am. But the thing is, is that uh, you have to understand that this particular show is, I'm, 
I'm serious about it, and I want it to uh, evolve into something. But it's going to be many, many shows of trying to figure out what that is, trying lots of different things, being extremely silly and pushing all sorts of strange technical limits, and asking my audience to be a part of it. And that's really it. That is, if it's really going to grow the way I want it to, the vision I have for it, it's all about interaction and the creativity of the audience eventually. So there will be a little bit of time to... Uh, get people used to, okay, this is what this show is and this is what he's doing because some of it is going to take figuring out, but hopefully will be entertaining in the process, says in the process. Um, sorry, I got distracted by the word eclipses. So you're saying this is a good time for me to start something. Well, good, because I'm doing it. So uh, I scheduled it on Blab today at blab.im slash Bob Doyle secret. And... Um, and I, what I want is everybody here to follow me, and I want people to share it. That's bottom line. And the thing is, is that, you know, I can't guarantee anybody's going to particularly like it because it's going to be so weird and offbeat and totally my sense of humor. And that's a very, you know, I don't know. You know, if you go to, uh, oh, I can't even remember what it is. I find, I, I, it took, I think. It took me forever to get the, uh, the 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 Facebook page for the awkward interviews. If you go to BobDoyleShow.com, I'm sorry. Well, yes. If you go to BobDoyleShow.com, that's where everything goes that I do. Basically, all my blabs, all my periscopes, even my Instagram posts go there. And um, what that what I have featured right up there now is uh, sort of a prototype show I did yesterday, where I was actually just doing a test. But then I said, well, I'm just going to go with this as if it's the real thing. And most likely what I do tomorrow at noon Pacific, because that's the time I scheduled it, will be a lot like what was what is on that video. But the difference is, is that there will be hopefully somebody in the room to interact with, comments coming to interact with and play with. And um, awesome. Well, I'm glad you got it on your calendar. I've got it on mine, too. And um, so now I actually felt like, again, the whole thing about this is this is there's no reason for me to be nervous about anything because I can't there's nothing to screw up. I just do what I want to do in every single moment and hope that I weed out all the uh, the 7 billion people on the planet, the ones who find that interesting and uh, entertaining. So I know I'm already good enough. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it at all. It's only my own standard. See, that's the thing. I feel like there's a lot of programming that says you're making a big deal out of this, which I am. Um and so now you're putting too much pressure on yourself. Hey, Jason, nice to have you here. And um, and and that's like the last thing I need because that'll shut off all creativity. One of the reasons when you, when you see all the test ones that I've done, if you ever do, you'll see that I'm very relaxed and I couldn't care less about what's coming, what's going on. And that's exactly how I need to be on every show. Otherwise, it isn't going to be the show I want it to be anyway. So, and whatever I do tomorrow, there's going to be tons more of, uh, like, it's really all about well, there's a lot to it, but but some of it's just about giving me a place to vent all my other little creative outlets. That's why I've combined all my – I had three show ideas. I'm combining them into the one, and it'll be just sort of like a variety thing. And now now we're doing this part. Now we're doing this part. I got little slates and the whole thing. Um, uh, thank you, Rachel. I will see you see me then. Um, uh, I can't remember what I was saying. Klein like me, where have you been? Hmm? Hmm? Well, anyway, so that's so so it's going to be uh, people are going to have to watch and try and figure out what's going on just like I am. But it's mostly it's I don't know how to describe it because how I am as a show host is a conglomeration because I've been in broadcasting for a long, long time. I did talk radio for a while, so I've there is definitely a style, but it's also you'll see that that there's that there's um it's just not, oh, well, I don't know how to describe it. So you guess I have to just go and see. So blab.im slash Bob Doyle secret, and then you'll have the, uh, <laughs> nice. Do you have like a, do you have a bunch of those one-liners in your, in your notepad? Um, so you can just copy and paste them real quick on Periscope. Um, now I've. Boy, I'm really, really just, it's just, I see that's one of the things that could, that, that could be a derailer on the show. Because I, I really want to interact. I want it to be as, as periscopy as possible in your arsenal, yes. Yes, and, and yes, you'll be blabbing with me. That's, that's part of it is, is you know, in, in all my other blabs, the law of attraction ones, the 
whatever that have like a serious subject. I have I've been very hesitant to just let people in because you know I'm, I've kind of got there's a point and you know you don't want to derail everything. Well, with this. If I'm dera derailing, it's impossible because it's all about taking whatever comes and making something out of it and or just throwing people out or whatever. What are we doing? This is tomorrow's tomorrow my show, the Bob Doyle show, premieres on Blab, the official one, not a test, not a false start. I'm doing it. So good. I'm I, And I really haven't done that very much, um, Jilly. So um, I've been I, when I've been the guest on a show, I have. But I've been hesitant to, to do it as a host. But again, in this format, in this context, and who I am on this show, doesn't matter. So I will open it up and, I, you know, I, I can't put a rating on the show. I know I'm going, yes, starring Bob Doyle. It's going to be, it's, I got to say, it's going to be a little Bob Doyle heavy. Yeah. Although I will be having guests via satellite. As part of the technology, and and if you've seen any of the preview things, you you've seen what that looks like. So, uh, uh, what is Blab? Okay, so here's what you do: blab.im/slash Bob Doyle Secret. Blab is a broadcasting platform, kind of like Periscope, except that you can have uh, up to four different people sharing this video room, and it's a shared broadcast, and it's great for doing interviews and having roundtables and masterminds and all sorts of different things. Um, but in my case, I'm going to use it as my own television uh, station and use all these fun toys I've been experimenting with on my end to create something that I think will be truly unique on Blab. I don't think I've seen anybody doing the kinds of things. I mean, there are people doing things like graphic overlays and, you know, doing some things that are sophisticated, but I do believe that you will see some things on there where you'll go, okay, I don't know how he did that. And uh, so, and that's the kind of fun I want to have, is just try to be clever and, and just and push it, push it, and then see where it happens. You know I'm cheating, Denise. You know, I knew it. I swear to God, I did. Because when I see Klein, I think Denise immediately, but then I'm afraid to say it because I think, oh, that's a knee-jerk reaction. I don't want to. I don't want to come across as so sure and be so wrong. But I swear I knew it. I wouldn't lie to you. I would just be honest and say I forgot it again. Anyway, and now Piano Man has joined. So just imagine piano music playing in the background. Imagine your request being played right now. Just imagine any song, and then imagine him playing it. Can you see? He can play anything, can't he, when you do it like this? Play, you know, I got one for you. I want to hear uh, Flight of the Bumblebee, but I want it in 45 seconds the entire... Wow. See? In, yep. In my imagination, he's he's going. He's doing it. It did... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, you missed a note, but that's okay. Maybe I just got distracted. No, I'm not reciting E.E. E. Cummings tonight. I did think about that again the other day because I think I was on my iPad or something in that window. That tab was open for from that day on Periscope or whatever we were doing. And I started researching E.E. E. Cummings. Or no, it was in my Chromebook or whatever. Anyway, and I haven't done any rehearsing of that, so no, no poetry. But maybe on my show I'll have Poetry Corner. I still like that idea. And, and really on my show, all, I'm taking any and all ideas and uh, playing with all sorts of stuff. Now, I can't guarantee that by the time I'm finished with it, it would be beautiful. I might have to massacre it on purpose. But then every now and then I might just throw in a serious read. What do you think, Misty7? You know, Misty, Metamusings host. She hosts Metamusings. All right, and she's got purple hearts everywhere. You know, I, uh, and, and I, I just want to, I just want to say that, um, I, with that voice, with that voice, what I, I see, I, I probably should know what to say to that, but I forgot. And now I just forgot what I was going to say again. I swear, I think there's something about the, the, it's the, it's the, the rays coming off of my phone. It is erasing my brain as we speak. Misty, did you, you spark, you spark something, you sparked a thought. But now I can't. Oh, yes, I remember. 
So, you know, I keep talking about, well, I keep trying not to talk about the numbers of people who show up like for my periscopes and stuff because, you know, it used to be like 75 and all that. Now I, I really can't get more than about 10 people in here. And it's you people. It's the, it's the ones who believe in me, the ones who have the vision or just like hanging out for whatever reason. But I'd like to hang out with some more people. Wouldn't that be fun to have more people in this tribe? So I'm hoping the show will help do that. Thank you, Denise. Hoping the show will do that, introduce me to some new folks. And um, part of the nature of the show will be bringing in guests, I mean, actual real live guests, and just having them on for whatever reason interests me. Um, the Bob Doyle Show, which I have been um, toying around with for a really long time. And, you know, really, truly, this was destined to be, and, and there have been variations of The Bob Doyle Show for years on and off on the radio at first. Well, actually, at first as a kid with my sister with our cassette recorders, would you like to hear the theme? Would you like to hear the theme song for the Bob Doyle show? It's it's not original, but but back then, third party server issue. I don't know what you're talking about. I used to have a podcast with Lynn Rose and my own over on Spreaker.com. I do like that platform. I just couldn't. We just couldn't get any listeners. And day one on Periscope, we had people. The Bob Doyle show starring the real Bob Doyle. That's right. So again, you can go to BobDoyleShow.com, which is a site in terrible condition. I have no ability even at that point at that site to um, get email addresses or a newsletter or anything like that. I haven't done any of that. It's just an archive of all the things I do, all my little broadcasts and whatnot. Um, Anyway, so the show's just going to be, you just never know. But it probably won't be that long. I'm, I'm seriously guessing if, if hardly anybody shows that up there and no one wants to play or for whatever reason. I mean, it could be as short as 15, 20 minutes. Oh, 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 the numbers are low. I see, I see. So something changed then. Is that is that the thing? Anyway. No, well, yeah. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> it will be the real Bob Doyle, but the thing is the real Bob Doyle has many facets, you see. And some of them need this show to survive. Will I be doing the Radio Guy voice? It prob it'll come out, I'm sure. Every time I start the show, I... Ladies and gentlemen. And again, I say every time I start the show as if I've done a million of them and I'm talking about doing my first one tomorrow. But I've done so many freaking tests. You know. I just want to test this thing. Just want to test this thing. All right, last time and then I'm doing the show for real. And I just decided today, no, I am scheduling it, and that's it, and that's all. And no matter what, I'm pushing play, and I'm doing the show. And uh, whatever happens, happens. And so, but I would like a room with some people in it. So I'm, I'm actually just kind of on a, on a campaign since I scheduled the thing. I've done little posts on video on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm trying to share. I'm asking for retweets. I haven't gotten any, but you know. I understand. I understand people don't know what the show is. You know, I haven't really said too much about it. It'll be noon Pacific tomorrow at blab.im slash Bob Doyle Secret. Um, anyway, that's how you register. But that's awesome. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah, uh, let's just, you know, we'll just see. I'd, and plus, it'll be interesting to see what this kind of grassroots asking for people to show up will actually do. Because getting on Facebook is so hit and miss. You just never know. Sometimes people just jump all over the place and help you like crazy. And sometimes they go, hmm, nah. But I am getting some people sharing my posts. If you follow me on Facebook, you could help too. Um, same name as Periscope. Yes, Bob Doyle Secret. Blab.im slash Bob Doyle Secret. And uh, noon Pacific tomorrow. Noon Pacific tomorrow. And here's an interesting little side tidbit note. Are you ready? It's part of the technical test I've done. So, I, uh, so I'm so i broadcasting on Blab, duh, obviously. But you, because of the setup I'm using, I can also, I just learned, broadcast on... Okay, Denise is ready. Now I can start talking. Okay, this really, whatever. Um, also broadcast on YouTube Live at the exact same time. So what, Bob, you might say? Well, let me tell you exactly what. There are disadvantages and advantages, but I love the advantages. The advantages are, if you watch a replay of, of Blab, you'll notice that because it has to be to do what it does, 
the video is very compressed. The audio is very compressed. When you play music, it's hit and miss. And so it will be, because I'm going to have music in my show, there's no question. I play the ukulele and keyboards. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's, not just, it's just not going to sound very good. And when I cut from scene to scene, which I do, uh, the screen will sometimes pixelate and it takes a while. YouTube Live, none of that. It looks awesome. Same exact feed. Now, the problem is... YouTube Live isn't going to pick up any of the other four wind any of the other windows. It's just going to be my feed into Blab at a very high quality. But people could watch it live on YouTube Live, and uh, our replays on Blab kept forever like catch. They are indeed. Plus, I repost them everywhere. They they go up on my uh, on my uh, page at BobDoyleShow.com. They go into Bob Doyle Show Facebook page. You know, they go everywhere. Everywhere I can think of. In places I haven't even thought of yet. Okay. Well, anyway. Well, this has been fun. I just wanted to... Uh, you have a ukulele? Okay, so hold on. You're terrible at playing it, though. What, why do you say that? Are you practicing? Do you need a great resource for some songs? Because, man, I could really, really point you in the right direction. It's where I learn most of my songs. Large majority of the songs I play. And, um, you know... Lynn Rose is in Singapore emceeing an event for a very large group of people. Um, yeah, Singapore. Crazy, huh? She left, was it late last night or, I don't know. It's crazy. It's all, it's all crazy. But that's where she is and she'll be back someday. And then she leaves again to go to Mexico. It's crazy, I'm telling you. It, we, we just, she's never here. Uh, you just got and began teaching myself, so I'm working on it. I would love new song ideas. Then I have got the job. I've got the place to go for you. It is this. Are you ready? DrUke.com, D-O-C-T-O-R-U-K-E dot com, slash, well, no, just go, just go there. Or you can go to slash songs dot HTML. Or you can just go to the main page and click on songs. He's got songs starting that are as easy as having one chord all the way up to, you know, some real knuckle busters. But he's got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of songs, um, and a lot of them are, are standards and jazz standards and things, which I really fell into, in, into loving playing, and that's why I go there. His arrangements are really good. The side isn't much to look at. i got to say it's very 90s. But um, there's a lot of great stuff there and, and learning resources and everything. So he's really committed. He's actually, a, I think he's a dentist or an orthodontist or something like that. But he's put together this site, and it was there for me in 2010. And I've since corresponded with him a couple of times and um, just great stuff. So I, I, I just highly, highly, highly recommend that place for new, new uke uh, acquirers. All right, well, that's it. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, whoever's watching this on the re if you've watched this all the way through on a replay, if you've watched this all the way through on a replay, I want to hear from you. I want you to email me. I, I bet you it never happens that someone watches all the way through. Anyway, all right, so I'm going to end this, and but then tomorrow, noon, noon Pacific, awesome. Well, I'll be looking for you, Misty. Pop in, say hello. Everybody who comes in, chat. Do the props, you know, give me some props. I keep forgetting about the whole prop thing over there, but, you know, it's like hearts over at Blab. So click the screen a lot. Make me feel good. And um, so I'll keep doing these things. All right. Well, I've missed you too, Denise, whose name I will never, ever forget again. All right. So I'll see you on Blab tomorrow at noon, and then maybe later on in the afternoon I'll do a post-show decompress with you guys here. How's that sound? All right. Awesome. Melanie, I just, I'm ending right now. I'm seriously, no, no, Bob Doyle secret, B-O-B-D-O-Y-L-E secret, no Y in there. Um, yeah, but go, go check it out and then uh, I'll see you live tomorrow and then we'll, then we'll reconvene here on Periscope. Melanie, watch your inbox.